Hey everyone, this is Sonia, AKA The Student Loan Doctor, and we are back for our YouTube series. We've got some new information for you today. So guys, things are heating up and we've got some new content in regards to the rules and regulations that are gonna be coming out for your loans as of 2023. So I've got some good news for you. So I'm gonna break up this information today into two groups of people, right? So group one, congratulations, congratulations, congratulations. You are going to be done your student loans by the end of this month. That's right. If you already have completed 120 PSLF payments and or you've completed 240 months or 300 months of income driven repayment, you can expect forgiveness come the end of this month. Now you're probably thinking like, why? Why is this happening? Well, the Department of Education said, hey, guys, your lender messed up. They did not properly count your income-driven repayment months. And so this caused a big stir up. And they're like, we got to correct this. People have been paying too long. You may have been paying too long. And you know if you know if you're one of those people in group one. So congratulations in advance. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to apply for it. It's going to happen automatically, right? Now, group two. Now, this is the majority of my tribe. My group two is my never ever people. So you never ever had intended on making a payment. That's the unofficial payment plan you were in. That means you were in forbearance. You were in good standing. You were in forbearance. And you're like, I'm going to just, you know, put it off again, put it off again. And so here's what happened. Did you know that that term forbearance steering is illegal? And every time you requested to extend your payment or you called in to extend your payment, what was supposed to happen is your lender was supposed to say, hey, what's going on? Can you afford to make X, Y, and Z payment and help count that towards an income driven repayment? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you, that did not happen like if ever. And so because of that, they're now going back to correct that mistake as well. So let me read this verbatim because I don't want to mess this up. This is very important. So you're going to see as of July 2023, an adjustment, a one-time account adjustment will be made to your account. So if your loans are not in good standing, if you're in default, we got to get it right, okay? If you are um, not in a direct loans program, we got to update that. You may need to consolidate. So if your loans are in the FFEL program, Perkins Loans, Health Education Assistance Loan, aka Hill or other non-direct loan programs with their federal loans, you have until May 1st, 2023 to consolidate your loans so that you can get your loans adjusted in July. All right, let me break this down for you. If your loans are in default, come January, there's gonna be what's called a Fresh Start program. Look out for that, more content, more details coming your way about that. You wanna utilize that program to get out of default. So hold on, hold steady right and and that program is going to really do wonders for people that have been in default and this is going to be your opportunity to get out okay necessary and crucial to get out of default to take advantage of these forgiveness programs coming your way and the account adjustment coming your way so let me break this down to you so a one-time account adjustment for my group two people are going to come if you have been 12 or more months consecutively in forbearance up to 36 months so 36 months or three years of credit depending on how long you've been in either situation now let me say this to you this is very important we do not know how to track this we cannot verify this the department of education in conjunction with your loan lender is going to service your account and give the adjustment okay now you may be thinking well once they fix this what are we going to expect moving forward well the department of education is making some really big promises that they're going to have a permanent fix to counting your income driven repayment so let's go through this all right so what's going to happen is your loan servicers have to ensure moving forward that there are accurate and uniform payment counties amongst each servicer okay and then there's going to be a new data system to help track this monitor by the department of education no longer left to the lender then the department of education is saying well here's what's going to happen we're going to provide borrowers an opportunity to see their idr payment counts on studentaid.gov so that you can view your progress and keep track of it yourself that's a really really big win and i'm excited for you guys to experience that my PSLF folks, I got something special for you. So there are going to be so many changes and updates to PSLF that are coming up by way of the administration. Um, I'll be doing more videos and content around that. So stay tuned for that. 
but how is this going to affect PSLF applicants? I'm glad you asked. So listen, what's going to happen is, is that if you ever applied, if you will apply for PSLF, you're going to see your payment count go up. Like simply put, 12 months up to 36 months, credit of that is going to go towards your qualified payments. Yes! I'm excited. So remember, you only got to hit 120 months anyway. Let's say you get 36 months, AKA three years. You only need a 10, 10 minus three is seven. Congratulations, you are a lot closer to getting this done. All right, so you're gonna see that this be applied to your account again in January. But those that are in the FFEL program, just wanna stress to you guys, again by May, you need to consolidate and get into that direct loans program to take advantage of this. So very, very good news. Um, I'm excited for my PSLF folks, another win. All right, so listen, this impact is huge. They're already saying off the bat, we see that 40,000 people are going to receive automatic forgiveness at the end of this month, November, 2022. So again, congratulations in advance. Then 3.6 million borrowers are going to experience this uh, this additional credit adjustment that's going to be coming your way by July 2023. I just want to make a note that if your loans are forgiven or wiped clear because of this adjustment, you will not be taxed. So under the American Rescue Plan, any loans that are being forgiven federally will not be taxed between December 31st, 2020 to January 1st, 2026. So I know a lot of you were asking like, oh, I might get forgiven for PSLF, borrower's defense, Biden's forgiveness. Federally, you will not be taxed. Again, uh, per your state, you could be. I know there are some radical states out there that are trying to tax student loan borrowers. It's horrible. So, but from a federal perspective, you're good, all right? I just wanna put that out there. Listen, guys, we've got more news, more content. First off, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do. This information is for you, and it's always with you in mind, never your loan lender. And we just want to make sure that you have a safe space to get the information, the content, the content fresh and hot, right? If you're not following us on social media, head over there right now. Instagram, go to the student loan doctor, find us on TikTok, right? The student loan doctor, we're there. So we want to be wherever you're at so we can get you bite-sized pieces of information different ways so that you can get this information first. This is the year going into 2023 that you've got to get on top of your student loan debt. So many programs that you've got to take advantage of and we are going to be walking you through it and holding your, stand, your hand every step of the way. And then lastly, guys, the biggest compliment is if you like our information, please share it out. Like, listen, copy this link, say, girl, you need to check this out. Bro, this is for you. Do not overestimate what people know. A lot of people don't know this information because a lot of people are not going to studentaid.gov every day and reading it and interpret it for themselves. So that's why we rely on our tribe to share out the information. So lastly, we will see you very, very soon on another edition here on YouTube with some more fresh content, some more explanation, things to get you up and going and on your way to achieve 100% loan forgiveness. We're excited to talk to you in the very near future. Until then, be safe.